It's the first time we've heard from her since losing her libel case against Colleen Rooney. So there's a lot at stake for Rebecca Vardy. Let's hear what she has to say, starting with the initial conversation with Colleen after she accused her of leaking false stories about her. I picked up the phone and I called her and basically said, what the f*** is this? She basically just said, you, you, know, you know what this is. She also talks about the abuse and trolling she's had and says doctors warned her the stress could affect her unborn baby. I had to go to hospital a couple of times um, because they were really worried about my mental well-being and also I, they basically said to me, if you don't you know, find a way to deal with this and you know, calm things down, you know, there's a really strong chance that you're going to have this baby early. At one point, she says she was getting at least 100 abusive messages a day on social media and she couldn't take her children to watch their dad play football because of abusive chanting. As you walk past, past someone in the street, or you, you're disgusting. How could, how could oh. you do that? You know, you're a rat, you're a troll. And, you know, I thought that eventually it would die down, it would go away. Mm. But it didn't. It just got worse and worse. On a positive note, Rebecca says she isn't the type to hold a grudge. When asked what she'd do if she bumped into Colleen, this was her answer. I'd ask her if she wanted to go for a Cafe Nero. Really? Yeah. That would be nice. Other coffee chains are available, of course. But what we don't get from her is any sense of regret. She still maintains that she didn't do it. But will this be enough to win people over? Well, you never know. I think we did want an apology from her and we do expect an apology from her. But from a brand point of view, this kind of almost villain or character, I mean, she mentioned Cafe Nero, you never know. They might be knocking at her door or Costa Coffee could be around the corner. And you, she could be making up a Wagatha Christie board game sponsored by Cluedo. Who knows? But there, I think she'll make some money somewhere. She's got a hefty legal bill to pay, but opportunity can come from disaster. It's unlikely that we've heard the last from Rebecca Vardy. Ruth Liptrot, 5 News.